Hello, everybody. It is I, the Big Cheese, and this is going to be my Let's Play of Half-Life. Um, as many of you know from my Dunsparce for the Win channel, I was going to be Let's Playing this, as it's said in my new trailer and everything. And for those of you that are not coming from there, welcome. And let's get started with this epic game because i actually have i actually have only 15 minutes to record and i would like to get that started morning, right away well, that was an interesting lag, but yes, um, of the Black Mesa this is Half-Life. We are in the Black Mesa Research the Facility, where things are going to get interesting very soon. Not this episode, next episode, um, I'd say it's going to get interesting, because we're going to be... For those of you that have never heard of or have played this game, it is good. And I sincerely hope that you all enjoy my Let's Play of it, because this train is inbound I know I definitely chose a good game for this. And if you can't tell, I'm doing live commentary with this, but yes, um, I think I'm going to have my voice in the background and the actual game sound and everything. You have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system. It's definitely you worth it to hear the game sound more than myself. And the high security branch of the right now, system. I don't really have anything to talk about because all we are are taking a 10 minute train car thing to, Due to the high where I'm going to be heading to. Yes, I can move compound. around. We are no on the train car, as you can tell. Or drinking um, are there's a little the black handicap Mesa sign and everything. And now we are in a cool train. Cool train. the train at all times. Do and not I'm thirsty, to open but the doors until the train has I'm not come going to, to start narrating like I would my dumb spots for the wind channel. <laughs> in the event of an emergency, that passengers are to remain seated. I'm going to try a different style of narrating. I don't know how, but... But there are going to be points where I just don't talk, because... Well, there are people talking, and I don't want to talk while other people are talking. <laughs> Unlike Pokemon, there actually is talking and stuff in it, and it is easy to, oh, uh, what's the word? You should listen to them. You can't just read it. So I'm going to stop talking and make points where actual people talk and everything, key plot points and everything. The reason I'm talking right now over top of this intercom thing is because the intercom is unimportant and we don't care about the intercom. Um, but like I said, I'm only allowed 15 minutes because this is a new channel and I'm not allowed more than 15 minutes. And for those of you that know this game, you know that this is a very long game and it I'm hoping to beat it in a month, but I doubt that's going to be possible. Because it's, it's difficult, too. But I definitely can say that we're going to have a fun time with this game. And I'm just kind of upset because my Skype was going off before, and... Well, people annoyed me by making my Skype go off, and then I paused. I paused the recording, and I paused the entire thing, and it froze, and I had the whole episode recorded. 
yeah. Regular radiation it, and needless to say, are a I tore my those guys employment in the a Black new Mesa asshole. Research facility. And yes, this isn't Missing my Pokemon channel, so I am going to be cursing a lot more. Grounds for immediate termination. Well, this is a if rated M game, and hey, look, it's the G-Man. A scientist. In the course of your We're going to be seeing the G-Man a lot. I'm going to try and find every place that he shows up, but I doubt that's going to happen because he, he shows up at a lot of places. And we are at the place already. Awesome. And here comes. Here we are at the docking station place. Please stand back from the automated door and, and wait here the comes a security guard or a Barney to come over. Before yes, they're called the train, Barney. Be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you. I don't have think I have any personal belongings. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Yeah, that's not too important, but <laughs> And we can finally exit. And let's see. Oh, I can run. Okay, how do I walk? That's how I walk. Alright. Put the eye thing in and whatever, and. And we can go to the doors now. I don't think we're going to be able to get into the Resonance Cascade today. Unfortunately. I don't think we're going to be able to see that because the long intro and everything. Hey Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Alright, let's go find my hazard suit then. And I'm going to be running through a lot of this game. And I believe the hazard suit is this way. I'm not sure. No, it's not. Hello there. Hello. And is it over here? I think it is. Nope. Is it? Hello. Hey, catch me later. I'll buy you a beer. I haven't played this game in so long. I can't remember where to go. Um, probably should have pre-played it before I went on to anything else. And okay, here we are. And look, I've got a locker. Awesome. Oh, it's over here. Alright. And let's go into our hazard suit. Walk into it. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. High impact reactive bomb. the only thing about this game. I don't like the loading screens, but I think this is where we're right at. Looks like oh. you're in the barrel today. Alright. And we're nine minutes in. Awesome. Alright. Loading screens. There's gonna be a lot of those, so... Hello, Barney. And hello outside. Transportation control system 
but yeah. Um, my narrating style, as I said before, will be a lot different in this game than it would be in Pokemon. I won't be talking as much, and it's good to see you. a lot of stuff. But... We're going to run downstairs. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. Oh, it's already open. Okay. Control room. Hello there. Ah, Gordon. Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Access. This is the uh, 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 cascade scenario yeah. we discussed. Yes, the Resonance Cascade, which we will be seeing next episode because... It's about to go critical. Huh. It's about to go critical. <laughs> that, no, that voice is just so annoying. Alright, and... Let's press the elevator. And we are almost to the room where the Resonance Cascade is going to start. Yep. Alright. Um, I know the Resonance Cascade is going to be longer than 15 minutes, so I'm going to cut it off here at 12 minutes, and next episode we're going to be able to see the Resonance Cascade. Alright everybody, I'll see you all next time then. See you later.